All right, so we're in Colorado here, and uh, we have our our two-man uh, Smith-built rooftop tent on top of our Jeep Wrangler, and we got really excited because we met up with some of our friends, and they have the Toyota Tacoma with a four-man tent. So we got tent buddies. Found another great spot here in Colorado. Uh, literally just pulled up the side of the road and called it good. We just want to touch base because we just finished editing our last YouTube video. And we almost forgot that we need to keep working on footage for our next video. So we're here in Durango. We've had a great, amazing couple days in Colorado so far. Um, we were in Grand Junction, and then we were in Montrose, and then losing my dog. Okay, in Montrose, and then yesterday we got to go up to Ure, which is this awesome, cute little town in the mountains, and they have an amazing coffee shop. And now we're in Durango. So, we're really enjoying Durango. We found an awesome camping spot last night, and... Mindy. We'll either go back there again tonight or find someplace different, but I'm sure it will also be awesome. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at right now. We're currently walking the dogs along the Animus River, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, just enjoying Colorado. After Colorado, we're gonna head to Moab, Utah sometime in the next couple days. And I'm super excited for that. All right, so we've got laundry done, and it just started to rain on us, which is great. And we just wanted to clarify, this is us not, not eating, eating in, the in the car. You lick it, Cody eats it? Okay. I look distressed. We were just hungry and it was raining outside, and we kind of have a rule that like, we just don't snack while we're driving. We stop, we make food, but it's raining. We do want to get to our next destination tonight, which is Moab. And so, yeah. Snacks in the car it is. Gave Indy charcoal or just in case. Gave Indy charcoal. We're kind of just trying to finish up a bunch of random food right now. So suppers are weird. That's a block of white chocolate. It was white chocolate, so it's now milk. So we get blocks of white chocolate. That's how we get calories in on this trip. <laughs> white chocolate by the pound. Anyways. Yeah. So we're going to continue on to Moab tonight. Not sure where we're staying yet, but I'm sure it won't be too hard to figure out. Hopefully Indy is feeling a little bit better. She already is. She laid down. That's She was like jumping into the front seat with us earlier. She would not settle down, which is like really weird for her. That's why we're like, okay, we should probably pull over or something's wrong. So that's all I have to say. Until next time. So we just passed the Utah border, Utah. which is really sad because I love Colorado. We might have to stop through and drive through again on our next round two to point out travels because <laughs> Colorado is amazing.
is our campsite for the night. We're near Moab, just on the outside. We did laundry today, so some of my clothes didn't get dried all the way, so the jeep rack doubles as a laundry rack to dry clothes on. Definitely a pretty area. Kind of buggy, but definitely not skimping on the views. All right, so we just found a campsite uh, right outside of Moab, and uh, we decided to try and be sneaky. So we're trying to hide behind a tree. We'll see if it works. Okay, so we are currently here in Utah. We are camped just maybe 10 minutes outside of Moab. Um, and we just want to talk briefly about the past five, six days we spent in Colorado. Something like that, yep. Um, we honestly didn't videotape a lot, but we were mainly just hitting up spots that we'd gone to because we've traveled Colorado memories in the past and so yeah lots of memories just going hanging out we didn't really do much like excitement stuff we just kind of chilled at coffee shops we used to go to and did things like that um but we basically were in grand junction briefly we had a wedding there and then we went to um ure and we were just briefly went through ure it's one of our favorite little towns though in colorado um, and then we hung out in Durango for a couple days, which I know we do have a little bit of footage from Durango. But, so yeah, that's kind of, we weren't doing a whole lot too exciting, just driving and enjoying. So we made it to beautiful, stuff. well, just outside of Moab. And I wish I had bigger tires, just, just a little bit. He wants to go jeeping, but we're not geared for this kind of jeeping right now. Everywhere. There's so much rock. It would be... And we have pavement princess tires, so. We have roadrunner tires. Roadrunners, road whatever. Okay, pavement princess. Maybe we'll upgrade later. When we have money again. Anyways, so yeah, hang out here in Moab. Um, we'll probably try to get a little bit more footage in the couple days that we're here. So, that's all we have to say. Good night. The bugs are awesome. I just wanted to talk about something real quick, a challenge that I didn't necessarily foresee coming into this trip. So um, today was laundry day. We did laundry in Durango before we headed to Moab. And so we washed our sheets for the tent. And like, let me tell you, making the bed in the tent is rough. Like, usually, like at home, you make the bed from like the bottom up. So like you start with the sheets and like the second sheet and like a blanket and another blanket, depending. But like here, I literally have to make it from like one end to the other. So like, I tuck the sheet in around the feet, I put our like little blanket on, then I put our down blanket on, then I like, have to like shimmy everything up, and then I have to like get on top of the blanket at the foot of the bed and like spread everything up at the front of the bed. Anyways, it's weird, because you like make three layers at once and then just like work from the feet to the head. Anyways, definitely something I gotta get used to. Like I, I had to work with everything like inside the tent and I can't really flip it around but so you see we kind of have a pile of like blankets and coats and different things like that but so that moment when you know you packed melatonin you just don't know where you packed your melatonin I've been trying to avoid taking it up to this point because I want my body to get used to falling asleep with the sound of nature all around because that's gonna be our life for the next four months but I am really low on sleep right now and I'm getting grumpy so, searching for the melatonin in hopes that tonight I can get a good night's sleep and be happy tomorrow. So, I will keep you posted. Great news, found the melatonin. So, here's to hopefully getting a good quality sleep and not waking up at every little sound. Alright, so we made it to Wall Street, 
And the beautiful part about Wall Street is you can literally just park on the side of the road and have some gorgeous climbs. Likely we won't go all the way to the top. Well, obviously we won't go all the way to the top. We're the only ones here, which is awesome. No one else in sight yet. No one else in sight yet. We might have to share later on today, but gorgeous day, super excited to get my fingers on the rocks again. He's ready for climbing. They're like, yeah, we're ready to sleep in the shade, Mom. You little troopers. I'm gonna hold so it so like we can both, both be in it. All right. So great thing about hot coffee on a hot day is it stays hot. Yeah, and it's gross versus iced coffee is cool and refreshing, and it's just you can never go around with. That iced is coffee literally ever. the same temperature that it was when we pulled up. Yeah, except our outside temperature is definitely a lot hotter than it was when you got that coffee. On another note, I can't find my sunglasses. I'm really hoping they're in this Jeep. I don't even remember the last time I had them. And we're in Moab, we're in here. and I don't see them. I do. How do you see them? Keep pulling stuff out. Oh, never mind. That was your keys. Keep going. I don't see my sunglasses. I see they're in there. I don't think they're in nope, here. they're not. I told you they're not in there. They're not in there. Not in there. He's wrong. I'm right when I'm wrong. I'm wrong. You know what? No sunglasses. Where are they? they Sad day. Anyway. So we finished climbing a little while ago, we found a park, and now we're making pancakes on a little stove. That cooks too hot. That cooks too hot. <laughs> it's a work in progress. So it's breakfast time, and I think I've been looking forward to this meal for 
least a week. At least a week. So I'm super excited to present. Yes, present. Pancakes. With caramel sauce, white chocolate sauce. White chocolate chips. White chocolate chips. I promise this isn't healthy. Uh, whatever those cherry things are. Cherry pie filling? Cherry pie filling. And topped off with some pineapple. So, pretty happy. It's been a long time coming. And I'm enjoying it thoroughly. Justice, but some gorgeous, gorgeous views.
Go find the tunnel. Maybe keep keep driving to see. 